I know your fucking code now. I give a fuck if my bros know my code. (laughs) I want you to know. It's the bro code. We all know each other's code. If I get into a car accident, I need you to come and erase my phone. (laughs) If you hear my code, you have to help me erase my phone when I die. Can I be the bearer of bad news and say that I already forgot it? Ah, shit. (laughs) Malcolm? One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Don't put this on the show. <laughs> Dynamic banter. I can see we're gonna do better. Have some fun. Dynamic banter. Fucking horn. And make it good. Dynamic banter. Don't forget the history road. Dynamic banter. Time to shut up. Start the show. Ladies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 400th episode of Dynamic Panther! Can you guys have more fake audience sounds? Okay. We got more since you've been on. Oh, yeah. Check this out, bitch. Just when you think we don't have any more crowd sounds, there's more There's more of them. Check this one out. I feel like I won a prize on a 70s game show. Hang on, listen to this. Listen to this. That crowd's That's a refrigerator. Okay, that crowd's kind of mulling around. That crowd's in a hallway. You have different environmental... <laughs> Audience claps. That's how we keep them organized. Guys, it's the 400th episode. Ah, what a joke. Episode 400 of... Oh, what's the show called? Dynamic. Dynamic Banter. Okay, okay, they're just using all the buttons. Dynamic Banter. Okay, there's a theme in there. I've been working on this new song. Yeah. Okay. They call Guys, it. it's a big show today. We got a big, <laughs> big show. We got special guests. Why does it feel like uh Why does it feel like a huge show? <laughs> because it's the it 400th is a, episode. That's right. It's the 400th episode. <laughs> is this televised? Yes. We're live. We're live. I love being live. Ah, I love being loved. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> That's that should be sewn onto a pillow. It should. So guys, guess what? This episode is going to be great because we got special guests and because it's the 400th episode of the show, we have a lot of celebrity guests Woo! that are lining up outside on the red carpet. I saw sexy red on mm-hmm. the way over here. Uh, guess who we have? Al guess who we have on the red carpet? <laughs> <laughs> guess who we have on the red carpet? And this is unbelievable that we would ever have this opportunity to do this. I don't. I have no clue who's out there. I never thought we'd have the opportunity to do this. I never thought we'd ever have a, the chance to do this. I never thought we'd figure out who is out there on the red carpet. So, guess what? We have our one of our favorite people on the whole planet. He's feeling a little under the <laughs> the whole wide world. This is less award show and it's more Cosby show. No, not Bill Cosby boom. on the red carpet. <laughs> Give me the boop and the bop. <laughs> Malcolm, you're out there with Bill Cosby. We How's get, he doing, Malcolm? He's doing pretty good. Hey, hey, it's Malcolm Barrett. Guys, Malcolm's here. on the red carpet. Malcolm Barrett's here. Give me a second here. I'm, I'm getting it's like over we're having here. some technical difficulties. Great, Someone yes, throw Malcolm, Malcolm Barrett on the here. red carpet. Mal- oh, give me a second. We're Malcolm hearing. Malcolm uh, is. We're guys, from... can I just give everyone a little bit? Hey, of guys, I want to introduce intro. you to one of the Malcolm's first celebrities. celebrities. Oh, I'm hearing my name. Coming I think back from commercial. I think we're coming back. We're on air. Nine. We're on air. Seven. You're listening to Malcolm. No, 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 no. Please stop counting, please. We're going to. 
I okay. have to. Just You're listening to, to Malcolm Barrett. Barrett. Okay, oh, hold no, on. on. Can we hold on? Okay, we're on commercial. No, it's not commercial. Can we hold so, on? Bill, what's, what no, 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 no. We're live. 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 Hey, looks like we're back. Dude, they back. not have a fucking format. We're back here. Guys, we got Malcolm on the red carpet. Malcolm. Oh, okay. It's the 400th episode of Dynamic Banter. We're live. Nine. Bill. Eight. Bill. Malcolm. Which celebrities do you see on the red carpet? And we're at commercial. Okay, we're back on. Looks as though we're here with uh, somebody tell uh, uh, with PhD uh, doctor William Cosby. We're back. We actually uh, have William, William Cosby H. in oh, five. Oh, looks like four. Looks like three. we're back. Tell Malcolm he's supposed to be with. Jesus, it looks like we're a commercial again. Um, it's not a commercial. It's not a commercial. So do do, we're live. What do you There's do no during your downtime. This show is not one of the best interviews I've not ever seen. Not a commercial. Not a commercial. I'm not great at dating. We yeah, cannot have, have this on air. We cannot have this on air. There are no commercials. Oh, we're back. And it looks like we're back on air. Somebody get down. We're talking. We're talking again with the real estate agent for Jeffrey Epstein. The problem is we can't get our shit together. What are they doing here? Uh, they he's don't a know bit of a celebrity. I don't. I guess back. in some circles, not Pepsi in all AC circles. Malcolm, who are you seeing out there on the red I, carpet? I honestly three, don't understand two, who we're getting as one. guests on Tell here. But it looks like we're going to commercial, and so there's no commercials. We will be. There's no we'll be commercials. We'll be back in just under there's five no and five. They've told me there's no and commercials, we're, and we're there. There's no commercials. Um, it's live. So what is it like? I'm getting a call from downstairs telling us we have no commercials. What's the starting price? What's the starting price for an island? What have we been throwing? Can to? I get a cheap island? Like, I'm what just, do they think we're seeing? I just, I just want to. We've thrown a commercial. I, I want an island where. Honestly, I don't want to do anything minutes. crazy on the island. Do you ever just? Well, somebody's ass is fired. I hope it's not mine. I we're th- back oh, from commercial. Oh, looks like we're coming no back. Oh, looks like we're no coming back. No commercials. It's live. We're coming back. It's live. And hey, how's it going? We're live. <laughs> we're live here. With uh, the real killer uh, from that OJ was talking about, the one who actually did it, not OJ, who's uh, completely innocent. Hi, it's great to be here. Uh, what's going on? Why'd you do it? Why'd I do what? Why'd you uh, kill the young lady and, and the dude? I don't really want to talk about the past. Okay, well, that seems... I'm here tonight to celebrate the stars. What stars are there? The, um, Q- um, is Culeo Nimbus one? Cumulus Nimbus. Cumulus Nimbus. Oh, well, okay. Actually, we were. I think they're mistaken. They think it's an astrology sun? show. I do. I got. We cannot overlook the fact that we have Malcolm Barrett on the show Who? today. What? what? Speaking of celebrities, is on he, the red is carpet. He here? Is, is he here? Is he here? This is a guy who's on the other side of the red carpet. What is it like? The, do they the make ground? it? The <laughs> other side is. Well, you're doing. Where are you right now? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the other side of the red carpet. Where are we? I think we're on the other side of the red carpet. This is like the Elton ground. You're podcast. listening to the other side of the red carpet. <laughs> anyway, the thanks others, for being here. Dude, that's a great name for a podcast. The it's other not. side of the red carpet. Is it? Yeah, because you know what it could be? It could be those things where you do like, you know, maybe it's like a, a murder mystery. The other side of the red carpet. What does that have to do with the red carpet? Like though? because it could be Hollywood like celebrity story? Hollywood oh. murder stories. Hollywood murder stories. Behind. The Maybe red Hollywood carpet. murder stories would be an even better name. The other side of the red carpet. <laughs> Hollywood murder stories. <laughs> you know what? In that voice, I believe it. I believe it. Charlie Chaplin killed a dog. <laughs> On today's it's episode. about time you've heard the other side of the world. Maybe it's time you hear about the other side. <laughs> Shirley Temple was a mass murderer. A dog. <laughs> the other side. Well, she- you know, she 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 was hired to kill those dogs. <laughs> like audio clips. It, from- it was the 30s. Everyone was killing dogs. <laughs> That's how you made a movie. You well, dogs were that. everywhere <laughs> in the 19 aughts. There was actually a big problem. Fucking dogs everywhere. <laughs> Have you heard? There's this movie Roar uh, from like the 70s. And uh, there's some famous white women actresses in it. But uh, they Greta used, Garbo? Sure. And then they used, they used real tigers. Because the, the, woman, the woman, they came from like a circus type family, like a carny family or whatever. So they made this movie about lions with real lions <laughs> that they would have <laughs> playfully attack them. <laughs> oh, and you're man. not lying. I'm not. And a couple people got injuries and they filmed this movie for like over a year. 
And it made zero dollars. Wait, yeah, I, uh, is it like, and you could see people really getting hurt in the movie? Uh, I'm sure they cut away when it's I like really turn. bad. Dude. <laughs> it's just, a, uh, it cuts and it's really janky. And there's a guy with a different head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, she's got less arm. What happened to that girl? That was the actress. That's a completely different movie. girl. <laughs> Shut up, we're making a picture here. More <laughs> opium! More girl! Kill the dogs! I need <laughs> me another two girls who look like that girl. Fucking dogs out of here! There's too many fucking dogs! Where's Shirley Temple? <laughs> Shirley Temple's like... She's crack. <laughs> she's sitting she's at... cocking weapons. And... <laughs> yeah, she's getting her bandoliers full of bullets. She's... She's wrapping her knuckles. <laughs> Damn, dude. She's ready to punch out dogs. And she's got, and then she puts a little lollipop in her mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to hit the good ship. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a lot of that. A lot of people don't know that, and that's the other side of the red. That's that the other is, side. And that's that show we were talking and about. And I've used my one Shirley Temple reference. I know, I and, there's, <laughs> and there's penalties if you do it again. <laughs> Oh, they won't let you drink. They won't let you drink. No more drinking. <laughs> that counts as two. That counts as two. <laughs> uh, but guys, Malcolm, it's so special that you're here, man. And uh, whatever. It's the 400th episode of a show. It's not the 500th. No, I, I appreciate being on the phone. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, what's? Oh, we have a phone call here. I didn't know that's how this show works. <laughs> it's 400 episodes. I've never seen a phone call. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Uh, Oh is this, shit! Is, is this, this Ryan? The International Space Station. This is the International Space Station. This is she. Ryan, are you inside a um like a rock tumbler or a cement truck? I'm in some kind of cement truck. <laughs> and boy, my arms. Are gone. you okay in there? Do you need help? We're doing all right. You're in the back of a cement truck. In the cement part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I'm doing is, you, is, your, is your friend Ant Man? Yeah. He's right. <laughs> well, are you on some caper, Ryan? I'm on some caper shit, dude. No, I said, are you on a caper? I'm on a caper, dude. What's up, Ryan? <laughs> How are you, buddy? Going, yes, Ander. Ryan, we got. Very Ma- thank you. Malcolm's here. We got Malcolm Barry. Malcolm. Ryan. How's it going, Malcolm? <laughs> Malcolm. It's going good, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Faroki. <laughs> What's up, dude? Are you high? You're driving and you're high? You're crushing walnuts with your mouth? You're eating chips, too. You're eating yeah. chips in the back of a fucking cement truck? <laughs> I know why you guys don't, don't do the phone call thing. <laughs> <laughs> you mean why we don't have five guests? <laughs> yeah. It's you, Kevin. Yeah. Mike, Malcolm. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Little but, boys club. Ryan, you're a big part of this show where we've done 400 episodes. Malcolm, Malcolm was just talking about how you were a big part of. The- <laughs> <laughs> I was a big part of the show. I don't remember his name when I'm not in this room. <laughs> and Malcolm he- says he misses you very much. Malcolm can't kept- visualize your face. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> But anyway, Ryan, you were a big part of the early show. You helped us out a lot by sitting on the couch behind us. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm pretty sure it did help. But yeah, it was probably in the middle era, like oh. after autumn. Oh, yeah, he's the guy with the face. Yeah, so that also, is him. Ryan was in the room when Mike and I had a big fight. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that a lot. And he, he wrote a whole book about it, and that's coming out in the fall. That book's coming out real soon. And there's an yeah, the uh, other side of the red carpet about it <laughs> coming <laughs> out. They're grasping at it. stories at this point. They're uh, the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, Ryan, um, any insight from working on the show you want to share with the audience at all? Or... Do you want to just fuck off? Yeah. <laughs> he answered, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how that works. Wait, yeah, yeah. which one? <laughs> He's open to it. Yes, <laughs> and like a Ryan, bar. have you been, you've been, <laughs> what, the, right? The bar. <laughs> when was the last time you even listened to the I show? I can't believe it's been 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Ryan, anything you want My to say? Favorite, okay, I have a very favorite memory. Okay. And it was when I was at the Valley Folk office with you guys, and you were doing the spinning lady, and my, you were showing it to Mike. <laughs> and just being there for that moment was hilarious and fun. Oh, it was like the first time Mike saw the spinning helicopter lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, oh, and you that got to be there dying. for that. That's great. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. That's a that wonderful was... thing, Ryan. What yep. a memory. It's a wonderful thing. And thank you for all your help, Ryan. 
Yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks, thanks for being here. here. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is the worst. <laughs> Do you just, do you just, whenever you, every couple years, you just replace your helper with a new man child? <laughs> Would you call Kevin a man child? <clears throat> he, you, you always have someone who's, whose face, where they're, they look 40 or 12. Yep. <laughs> but it's yeah. going to switch like that. It will. There will be a moment where it switches. Uh, like Kevin, like, uh, like uh, the kids in a hall. Or... We, yeah. We yeah. know Ryan. We knew Ryan from way back in the day. And he was one of those guys that we would see um, when we would make appearances at places, and he would come up to us and be the least creepy of, uh, and and when when he would like, when we'd be like, all right, he'd understand it was time to end the interaction. I like that you talk about him like he's either made it big or died. Well, he did. He's both. done both. <laughs> yeah. He's done both, and he's made it through both. Oh, yeah, he has. But, uh, but yeah, he's a good That's boy. That's a He's a good boy. <laughs> but anyway, um, before the show started, uh, oh, actually, let's do a little bit of important business. Malcolm's in a really cool show right now. Oh, you want to talk about what it is this? Sh- oh, the show that I'm on. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Guys, I'm at a show. It's a little show called uh, Brushstroke. It's an original play. It's a comedic thriller. It's got egg creams and espionage. Uh, I play the lead, Marvin. Uh, you can see it over at the Odyssey Theater until March 3rd. That's odysseytheater.com. There's some, some cheap tickets. There's some expensive tickets. I, I get whichever one fit me the best. <laughs> Are the and expensive tickets involved meeting you or anything like that? Oh, no, no. You definitely don't talk to me. Yeah. Uh, the don't show is Thursday through Sunday. <laughs> That's, you could have dinner with Malcolm if you buy a VIP definitely, ticket. Definitely That's no one's able to reach directly out to me. Uh, Thursday through Saturday at 8 p.m. Matinee on Saturday and Sunday. Do you have a team that we can PM. reach out to? There's definitely no one you can reach that'll ever get you close to me. Um, I have a team of people to keep people away. That's good. I don't know where they that's were good. today, but usually that's that why happens I'm here. because of an incident. Oh yeah, there's definitely been incidences <laughs> at airports. Incidences. I oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go um, get a ride to the airport with Malcolm if you oh, buy a VIP no, ticket don't. this weekend. Yeah. Never, never enter a car Might with me. Might be in the same airplane definitely as don't Malcolm. Even, uh, uh, I, was, <laughs> I was accidentally in an Uber pool, and uh, I, kicked, I kicked the person out immediately. Because I don't play that. Malcolm, I went and saw your the brain. Uh, yeah, it was the driver. I went and saw your brain problems show. That was a play I was in that I wrote. Which was really good. Oh, thank and you. And I loved it. Thank you. And I think about it from time to time. I'm trying to make it into a TV show. There's a uh, there's a uh, talks and such. Oh, that's rad. Yeah. I it love that. Rad. It would be rad. Uh, so yeah, I do I do a lot of theater. I come from doing a lot of theater. I study theater, blah blah blah. That boring stuff. And can I ask you something about your new show? And what was it called? Brushstroke. Then? So brushstroke. Yes. Can I eat popcorn while I watch the show? <laughs> is there popcorn in the Is there popcorn in the show? Can, is there snacks? I think there's snacks at the there's beginning. Snacks. I'm not usually out front. Okay. At the top is it of the, the show. theater that provides snacks? I think they do. And wine. Every theater gets you wine. Every, okay. every theater. What I love about every theater is they're like, you definitely want to drink. Uh, during, uh, yeah. During watching. Is there a minimum? Is there a wine minimum? There's a two drink minimum. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. To go the see theater. To see Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a two drink minimum. You're going to watch Hamlet over here. There's a bouncer. <laughs> hey, hey. Don't come in here. This, yeah. This guy, this guy goes to the opera, drinks one drink. Who does that? Get out of here. It could be your water. <laughs> Two it drink could minimal. be a diet. It could be a, yeah, it could be a diet girl. All right. That's right. All right. I don't care if you're the DD. Stick for the opener. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's freaking sober watching fucking Othello. So I can have popcorn while I watch your show? I think uh, I wouldn't allow you to, but I think the theater does. You wouldn't allow me to. I wouldn't. Yeah. Because I don't want to hear you. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to hear that oh, during a show. You don't want to it's rude. It but that's the fun thing about theater is the stuff that suddenly happens. Someone definitely uh, dropped uh, like a bottle in a front row the earlier day. You just got to ignore it. You got to act like it's not like happening. big, loud bottle drops Yeah, yeah. Out. Like someone's drinking a, like a metal canteen. And they, and they finished it. <laughs> he was done. He was done. And dropped it. One day we didn't have music. For a, a part where we dance. Whoa. Uh, 
<laughs> which was awesome. Were you, how'd it go? Yeah, how'd that go? She hummed. <laughs> she hummed. So it was like Evan- acoustic dance. Evangeline, moment. yeah. She, there was supposed to be a whole song. She was just like, da 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 yeah. da He's just like, Ryan, what are you doing? Get Faroki. Oh, holy moly. Holy what just shit. happened? Oh, Ryan almost uh, 86th one of the cameras. A, he tried to do a Michael Bay or something. Ah. Okay, so before the show. Do we hear something? Somebody's playing this. Yeah, there's music playing. There's awards no, no, no. effect. Turn that off. No, no, no. <laughs> what? It's the 400th episode no. of the show. <laughs> He's Guys. pissed. Kevin Platchy. Oh, these are real sex. I told you this. I did, I did not believe you. I just didn't hear. There's a saxophone. Oh, someone's playing a full album. And there's a call? We're getting a call. There's so many sounds. Whoa, there's a call. <laughs> oh, shit. We missed it. There's a I think band. this is the day I realized my neighbors hate me. This is the day. It's a literal saxophone. The episode four. Hundred, so much has happened. Hello, hey, it's Harley. Hey, hey, hey. it's Harley. Yo, happy four hundred. Yeah. Thank you, Harley. It's very nice. Yeah, of you. Are you guys, you guys calling me to talk about piss again? <laughs> yeah, you guys always call me to talk about uh, piss. Or you want to talk about something serious this time, like the vaccine? Well, we actually <laughs> talked about piss on the last episode. We had a, we some kid well, pissed in the coffee filter in the hotel room and made piss coffee. Oh, that stinks forever! I bet. I bet yeah. it does stink forever. That's a hot stink forever. It oh, really so stains the room. Spoke about piss. So <laughs> let's talk about the vaccine. Yeah, I got what do you mean? Five times. <laughs> What do you know about the vaccine, man? Share it with us. I got boosted five times, so if anything happens to me, make sure you tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he sounds good. Harley, you've been on the show before. Yes, so I'm and- pissed three times. And we had such a great time. We have our friend Malcolm in the studio. I don't know if you guys have met before. Yeah, Isn't we, that met, fun? we met. Yeah, we met. From Epic Meal Time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think I pissed my life. And you know, Harley and I, Harley and I have been playing Fortnite. Oh man, that's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's totally cool. <laughs> it's totally cool. It's. It is cool. Oh no, that's what I said. Because I get to have an emotional connection with my friends. That's what emotional connections are all about. Using devices to reach yeah. out. That's yeah, true. that's right. That's like a telephone. True. A telephone yeah. is a device we went to reach out. We to the out. tallest mountain <laughs> and we stemmed for so long in Fortnite. We were you stemming get... together. Are we guys stemming together? We were in oh, Fortnite. That's fucking we cool. stemmed and we didn't move until until the game. <laughs> The school closed and the game moved us. The game wow. forced us to move and from the our game. Stim- did? <laughs> yeah, from stemming. They should have yeah. called it Force Night because they didn't <laughs> let me good. be a fucking idiot with my friends. Very, very good. They, name. they forced me. They forced us. Yeah. Harley, do you have a favorite memory of being on Dynamic Banter? Being interviewed by Bob Dylan. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't want to talk about piss anymore. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to talk about but, piss. No, I, I mean, like, I, I don't have, like, uh, of any of my, all my favorite memories are talking about piss, but I feel like I touched on that already. Did you so, get us uh, anything for our 400th episode? Uh, I did, and I'm going to give it to you in person. Okay, great. You know what it is? What is it? You know what it is? No, what is it's it? It's a booster shot. To me. No, <laughs> can't cut them off. You can just administer, you can administer <laughs> a booster shot? You just have a bunch? No, I can't. I can't do that. And okay. I also, I also don't have a booster. I heard you also, were a teacher. Actually, I, I didn't hear I... you were a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, hey, but I actually, I'm serious. The vaccine is uh, all right. Good. Thank you, Harley. <laughs> Thank you. I love you, buddy. Really appreciate that it. That was Harvey Morenstein. That was. <laughs> <laughs> do I uh, know that person? Yeah, he's from Epic Meal Time. Oh, what? <laughs> guys, it's the 400th episode. <laughs> Of dynamic banter. Yeah. This is crazy. And the second episode of Epic Meal Time. I've never believed I could make it this far. I thought, honestly, 
when I was on your, uh, I want to say your 48th show, yeah. I thought, is it 48? no way this show is going to keep going on. Yeah. And we did it. We persevered. 49. And you guys made it to 400. And, and someday uh, we'll be at 449. And honestly, out of all the shows I've been on, I've never listened to one. Uh, and I'm not going to start now. You never yeah. listen to one that you're on? No. Hmm. No. How do you How do you know it's any good? I assume. <laughs> yeah. And you'd be correct. <laughs> I just assume. You would be correct. It's pretty good. The only the only time I've listened to this actual show uh, is the excerpts of the uh, helicopter bit. That's the only thing. Yeah. <laughs> there was a good clip. That there was out. a there was a huge uh, that was a thing. Yeah, it was a huge thing for us. It was huge in my <laughs> local social and media. And that is the thing that really boosted your whole career. <laughs> and it was after that that I started doing plays. Yeah. Okay, so important business. Before the show started, we were having an interesting conversation. Oh, should we talk about these instruments? Do you think yeah, do you the you fact think that there's is... saxophones being played is outside saxophone? of this room? Or is it guitar? Do people do this? This is normal? Sometimes it happens. Sometimes. I mean, we scream. At 8 o'clock in the morning, is that normal? Yeah. I just want to know if this is an answer to this. It sounds like that. Or do they do this sometimes? I, I would I've love it if the it way sometimes. that they fought you is through playing it's killer, kind of beautiful, killer riffs. It is kind of I mean, a beautiful okay. way. You're making to... so much noise. Let's out noise them. <laughs> I, so so be beautiful. I, I get the whole passive aggressive like apartment <laughs> oh, do you? thing. Do you? Yeah, I get do it. You? I totally <laughs> get it. Like, I understand. You know, whatever. It, it's fine. But it's you... like 1030 in the morning. Yes. We, you know, people are at work. You know, this is what some people work from home. This yeah. is work. Yeah. Yeah, your work is screaming into a microphone in an apartment building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's thing. like 10 a.m. Like, that guy should be at work. Or maybe he's working, too. Maybe this is his job. Maybe his job is to play the trumpet. Do you guys... Maybe he has a trumpet live stream. <laughs> maybe he's got... Do you guys listen to Trump stream? Actually, <laughs> <laughs> Is that I heard they got big it's got press. Two, there's right. two. There's two versions of it. So you want the right one, right, right, right. <laughs> and the mistake has gotten him a lot of views. Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> it's a popular do you, channel. Do you guys listen to your own podcast? No, nah, not Sometimes. whole episodes. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Because you got to know if it's uh, like I listen to it on a plane ride. If I have like a six hour plane ride, oh, I'd be like, is yeah. that uh, as funny as I think it is? I I'll, listen to it while I edit it. No, but not outside of it. I feel like it'd be weird if I was on a plane and I just watched like six hours of Timeless or something. Probably would. But people could see watching, watching a lot it. of average people Joe. People can't see us listening to <laughs> our own voices. True. But uh, yeah, if there was a particularly really funny episode, I will totally like a plane is a good spot for it for sure. Yeah. Because you're like, fuck it. I'm just going to revisit this yeah, really funny whole thing. Maybe not the whole thing. Well, also, there's we we made a best of record. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Did you pick your best of? We picked our best of. You're like, I'm fucking great well, in this no, one. No, no, no. Actually, we didn't pick them. <laughs> there are like lists online there were that lists. exist. Yeah, we use lists. And we have to go through them and like decide what's on that. Somebody made a list of Someone your best made a episodes. List. Yeah, yeah, and even yeah. chopped them into like YouTube, a YouTube video. And then you were like, yeah, this yeah. is good. Yeah, because I mean, it was like audience approved. Who's your uh, Who's your favorite guests? In the last 400. And I'm glad we got this music. On the show? This, this is actually who's, copyrighted who's music. Your... <laughs> <laughs> what if they did this? Through? That's the way to get it. They play funny. copywritten music. Yes, that's very, so, very funny. <laughs> um, you know, cops started doing that? When they, they when you so recorded, you couldn't, so wow. you, so you couldn't like post like to YouTube things. Yeah. Wow! So they so they beat you to a beat. They're always Damn. two <laughs> steps behind <laughs> us. Yeah. Man, they're so smart. There's, that's the thing about <laughs> that's cops. Too bad. That Way is too the, smart. They say that. They say that. <laughs> Way too smart. <laughs> Way too smart. Who's your Who's your favorite guest out of the 400 episodes? You don't don't include me because it's too easy. Hmm. I mean. Uh, we don't have many guests. It, we really have. Is this we, not a guest show? We've I had like really. a handful of guests. Yeah. Who's your Brad top? Favorite. Who's Brad your favorite? Good. Brad. 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 Oh, Brad, Brad was fun. Bradley Cooper. We Bradley had Cooper was Mike's on the show. comedian friend Brad Wenzel. Yeah. But he had no idea what the show was, so he just came into it blind and we destroyed it. 
Can you imagine? Can you? <laughs> that was me the first three times yeah. I was on this show. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. And now you're back and you get it. I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> now it's, no- it's more normal. It's now. more normal, but I still don't get it. Yeah. You know, but I really love when a guest is like super, can super play with the show, like along with the show. Yeah. And Malcolm like plays. Oh, wow, yeah. is this? It's insane. This guy is riffing. I want you to pause the music so we can just hear this. Pause it, and then I'll just, I'll just freestyle to whatever this guy's playing. Wait, do you think they'll be able to hear it? Yes. The audience? I can hear it. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. This guy's playing Howling Wolf Mitchell. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you guys were neighbors with Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Chuck it's Berry's the very ghost, good. The ghost of Chuck Berry. It's never happened <laughs> Now, would the audience listen to this? Yeah, I hope they could hear it. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm slowly turning into you by uh, the, what's it called? White Stripes. That's I, thought, I thought you were just talking to Ryan. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> to Kevin. Kevin, I'm slowly turning into... No, I was, playing, I was playing Shazam. But Malcolm, I do love it when you are on the show. Like, uh, And again, we haven't really had that many in-studio guests. But uh, every time we have you on, we always do like really fun bits. Like, oh. That that reporter live oh, like bit God. was so good. And then so good, these bits. The helicopter yeah. spinning lady. Oh, my gosh. I love that lady. These are timeless bits. These Wait, are whatever t- happened to that lady? Well, apparently she's st- still suffering from that. <laughs> <laughs> what is the <laughs> Why is the audience glad? <laughs> They're glad for an update, I guess. I guess the audience should know that what this really is, this mu- this guy playing, is someone warming up for the musical guest portion of the show. That's true, which we will have on we, we in just a matter of time. Musical guest. All right, let's do our ad. <clears throat> How's that sound, everybody? That sounds great. The audience loves it. I need food. That number again is 1 800. Man, Guys, we're running low on bats over here. No, 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 no. Welcome to the show, everybody. It's the top of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the beginning of the show, which we do in the middle. We're cutting everything from before this out, and now we're doing a clean hour. No more jokes. <laughs> Guys, I want to thank Head Gummo and thank Leah, Jarsh, <laughs> Krebin, Mike. Yeah. Everyone in our lives that support us. Let's take a moment to thank everyone in our lives. Everyone in our lives. <laughs> CC down the street. Street. The guy that makes my Subway sandwiches just the way I like it at the Subway in Van Nuys. Neil? Luis? Luis! Luis. Big shout out to Luis. Huge, huge Huge shout out to Luis. Luis is so important. John? Luis! Reptoids. <laughs> this reptoid has a little peepee in the picture here. <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk about factor, eh? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what fact. First of all, you're like, wait a minute, Steve. What's factor? What are you saying? What are these words? I was just thinking that. That's what I thought. Well, I'm here to clear your mind a little bit with something easy. Factor is a delicious, ready to eat meal service that makes eating better every day easy wherever tomorrow takes you be ready with pre-prepared pre-prepared chef crafted and dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door that sounds great steve are you telling me I can get well-crafted meals prepared right to my door? 
Yes, Michael, that is exactly what I'm saying. It is the truth. That is what Factor does. And you'll have over 35 different options a week to choose from, including keto, calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, and more! Just cooking for ourselves, I can't even think of 35 different options of dinner to have. Try thinking of 33. <laughs> Sandwich. Try it. <laughs> and there's even more to enjoy with over 55 <laughs> nutrition packed add ons. I said 55. Oh, oh. That help make your weekly meal planning even more delicious. What are you waiting for? Get started today and have a feel good week of meals ready to go. You don't gotta cook nothing. nothing. These meals are ready to eat. <laughs> I'm talking snacks, smoothies, and more. And you can discover a wide variety of easy options for the entire day, like breakfast, <laughs> midday bites, <laughs> and more. <laughs> that was like an angel opening its mouth. Yeah. That's where breakfast comes from. That is where breakfast comes from, an angel's mouth. Every time you... <laughs> Guys, every time he cooks breakfast, <laughs> some factor an angel gets a mouth. Angel gets a mouth. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> there's no prep, no mess. Meals we're talking about here. <laughs> we're talking about meals, you guys. There are no prep, no mess meals. That's nice, isn't it? Think about that for a second. Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat. So there's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. So head to factormeals.com slash banter50 and use the code banter50 to get 50% off your first box. And two free wellness shots per box. How about that? Throw them in. I love wellness shots. And you'll get them while your subscription is active. That's two free wellness shots per box. Oh. That's code banter50 at factormeals.com slash banter50 to get 50% off Good. your first box. Ah. And two free wellness shots per box while subscription <laughs> is active. <laughs> Thank you so much. Factor. I fucking love Factor. I get the chicken Alfredo pasta, and it's so yummy. I, I mean, I freaking love Factor. Yummy, 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 yummy. Tummy, tummy. That was my son. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough ad music. Go away. We're done. Whoa. Uh. Anyway, before the show started, uh, we were talking. Look up that lady. We were talking about which one? The helicopter lady. Oh, the helicopter lady. She talks backwards now. So hold on. Before we get to that, well, okay. okay, maybe we do that first. No, we can do it at the same time. Yeah. Okay, same well, time. I really want your true reaction to this because it, we were talking, uh-oh, uh-oh, we're getting a go. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> this is the best show. Hello? 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 <laughs> I was going to call earlier, but I was working on a really big piece of granola. Whoa, oh. you know, I get it. Working down a big piece of granola can take hours. Yeah, I was, I was struggling against a massive hunk of granola. Did you, what you got to do with it is you got to pour some milk over it. Milk over it. I had yogurt. I was softening it. Okay. I was gnawing on it like a little baby. Whitney Moore, my favorite Hi. baby. Hi, Whitney. Whitney. <laughs> Whitney, we got Malcolm Barrett is in the studio with us. Oh, Malcolm. Whitney. I haven't seen you since before the pandemic. I know. That's so insane. That's... We probably look 100 years old now. No, I look uh, no. pretty good. Malcolm's got a show. <laughs> uh, Malcolm's got a show that we could all go see as friends. Let's go. He's doing I'd love a play. to go see a show. Good. 
Whitney. Oh, well, welcome. Like, no, actually, bitch, I look hot as fuck. No. So maybe you're a hundred. It's a glow up. I'm killing. I'm killing. <laughs> I'm sure you look great, uh, Whitney Moore, and you're. <laughs> 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 Whitney, he's right. We love you so much. I'm sure you look great, Whitney. <laughs> Whitney Moore, that's gonna kill me. That's, uh, that's the name of your, your talk show, right? I'm, I'm sure you look great with but, Whitney Moore. Yeah. Speaking of handfuls of guests that have been on the show, Whitney has been oh, wow. in studio. Uh, sometimes when Mike is out doing a comedy program, uh, live Never in the same room as Mike, think about that. What does that mean? What are the effects? Mike and Whitney are the same person, maybe? Yes. That's right. Yeah, I'm throwing my voice right now to the other side of the phone. <laughs> I thought there was no throwing in the house. Throwing in the house. <laughs> but anyway, Whitney's been on the show, and you know, what a guest that you've been. Such a fun time. And people have requested for you to come back proper, like, with Mike, like, in the studio. Let's go. Physically, it's we can't. Gas. <laughs> we Physically, we're not able to do that. Physically, but we're we can't unable. explain why. <laughs> Yeah, that glow up's too bright for our cameras. cameras. <laughs> but anyway, Whitney, uh, we love having you on the show, and obviously, I love you as a person. You're one of my bestest friends. It's always a gas to be on Dynamic Banter. Yeah. Do you, ever, do you say that very often? Because I think we should bring it back. It's a gas. It's a gas. It's a gas. Did you enjoy the it's first time you were on the of show? A gas. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I would have enjoyed it more if you were there, Mike, but have we what never can you been do? On together? You're me, I'm you. Yeah. Sorry for that. Sorry for being the same guy. Sorry for being the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Mike, when was the last time you and Whitney saw each other? Why IRL? are you holding the phone like that? Because At the like microphone's a... on it. I saw you in That's how they're Anaheim. hearing us. Oh. In An oh, at Decon, right? There's four things going on right oh, now. Oh yeah, yes. Decon. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, best day. I love I love those decon days. Uh, getting getting a little too high in the food truck area and then bumping into a bunch of stuff on the floor. Uh, Mike said one of the funniest jokes to Jesse to your husband uh, while we were and and I guess it was a private joke just to Jesse <laughs> and I, we say it to each other all the time because it's so fucked up and funny, but it's not one we can share on the show. <laughs> I think I know exactly the joke that you're talking about. What's the joke? I don't know. Does it have anything They're not to do all with the, the, the other convention? It did have something to do with the other convention that was happening. Is it a furry convention? Listen. I know that joke, yeah. and I think about it often. We'll Sorry tell you. to the listeners. We'll tell Malcolm after the show. I, uh, I want to know. It sounds so good. I forget about it all it's the time. Much I make so many up. funny jokes. Uh, but Whitney, we're battling against someone who's like literally practicing their electric guitar skills right yeah, above yeah. us. John Mayer. What do you mean you're battling? Well, John Mayer is playing next door. He lives in our like. apartment complex. Like, can you hear this? Like, I don't know if you can, no hear can hear it. No, no, but if it's you like, have to hold the phone next to Mike's face. I guess that's true. Put the huh? phone in. The I can't hear apartment. it, but I I can imagine it because Jesse does his guitar, um, his his exercises every day. I love so that. I, guitar I hear... exercises. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, you gotta practice your scales. Pull ups. What? Oh okay. You yeah, gotta you yeah. at the same time. Is he a musician? A yeah. rocker? Does he rock? <laughs> Jesse's a oh, very he, good. Oh, musician. he rocks. He shreds. He does shred. Oh, does I have play proof. concerts. What? Does he play concerts? <laughs> um, I'm trying to learn will. about your when, husband. When Stacy DC, you know, um, he's part of Steve and Jesse and I are in a band together. That's right. Well, it's called Stacy DC. Stacy DC. What? Yeah. Yeah. What kind, what kind of music do you play? Comedy core? Uh, absolutely the fuck not, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she gets so aggressive. Well, that was the part she got aggressive about. Hell yeah. Now dude. we're talking to Stacey DC. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's hair metal. It's it's Sunset Boulevard, 80s rock and roll, baby. baby. Yeah, so we've got a couple demos. Um, There's a song called Give Me a Sword. Well, gi well give me a demo. I'm yeah. going to head to Studio 54. And there's a guy I know. <laughs> we, but we've been jamming and we all have characters and stuff. I think my character is like Turd Bubble or Why something. Do you have a character? Fart Bubble. Why do you have a Fart character? Bubble. Why do you have a character? Because she's Stacy DC. Whitney is Stacy DC. I thought the DC. band was Stacy DC. Whitney is Stacy DC. It's both. Ah, ah. Stacy DC. It's like a Van Halen it's thing. Both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And so we're all playing characters. Yeah. Fart, yeah. Fart Jesse bubble. is Jet Ski, which she was given that name by Matt Robb. Matt Robb. And we have a song about loving to ride your jet ski. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And, Matt Robb. Um, oh, I hope he calls. And <laughs> it's only a matter of time. 
and uh, Steve hope... is fart bubble. That's right. I dig it, Stacy. What's DC. fart bubble like? Uh, well, he's kind of a bad dude. Bad dude. They're all bad dudes. And you don't want to get you don't want to get that guy angry. Why is that? No. Oh, well, okay. he's on parole. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah dude. Never mess with old don't ex-con mess, fart bubble. Don't you dare fuck with fart bubble, dude, because you'll get your own fart bubble and you won't like it. Oh, I don't know what that means. Um, can I take the stage to tell you guys about a relevant dream that I had? Yeah. Oh. I had a dream that I was moderating a cringe convention. What? <laughs> oh, that's funny. C-con? Cringe con. <laughs> and it was all like I was moderating people who are like meta cringe posters now who are like doing it on purpose and talking about the economy of being cringe <laughs> on purpose. Yeah, Dude, nice. what an involved dream. We're... Yeah, I usually don't have vivid dreams like that, but I also like came away from it kind of missing hosting, which is a horrible oh, feeling. In your dream, were you also on the panel talking about this dream? That was mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. And Whoa. here we are at the cringe convention. Damn. Welcome, and it never Thank stops. Thank you guys for coming. That's crazy. Whoa, we're here. We're guests at the Cringe Con. I just Whoa. got dizzy. I wouldn't want to be a guest at Cringe Con. I imagine that email. A featured creator. Yeah, you're, but you didn't know you're that you were like that. Cringe You've been voted pretty cringe. So I was like, what? I make cooking videos, and everyone's like, yeah, we yeah, know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> But it's all people who do like the same archetype of like a 2010s fedora nerd. Yeah, like, milady or, like, types. Millennial. <laughs> Millennials. Millennials. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you just invented a new type of human. I think. I think it. I may absolutely exist. Huge yeah. mustaches. New archetype unlocked. Um. All right, Whitney. Well, listen. We love you very much. Love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait. Okay, have a good happy 400. Thank you so much, yeah, Whitney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have you on the... Good and good and good. Let's... You guys are great. Thank you. you. Bye, Thank baby. You, Whitney. Bye. Bye, Whitney Moore. You look great. And that was Whitney Moore. Oh, I miss great. her. Oh. So before the show... Yeah. Oh, we got to do ads. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, we don't. Never mind, we don't. We don't have to do ads. We have it already. We recorded it last week. Did we already record the ads? Yeah! Oh, that's usually my favorite part. Not today. What? I love it when you're all when you're all like, hey guys, do you ever get sleepy? Yeah. You gotta you gotta try Bob Samada's pillows. Ooh. Bob Samada's pillows. <laughs> They're more pillow than man. Are you uncomfortable at night? Is it hard for you to sleep at night? Oh, wait, 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 I can't sleep. Where's my Bob pillow? I need my Bob pillow. It's the only pillow I sleep with because they send it to me. <laughs> and before Bob's that, you had no pillows? Before that, I had no pillow. I didn't know pillows existed. <laughs> Guys, this episode is brought to you by the Covington Accord. The Covington Accord. What is what what is that? You want the Covington Accord every and it gets delivered once a month to your home. You need it. You need the Accord. Mike Falzone, this is an inside joke from a video game that we played a year and a half ago. <laughs> that's, <laughs> I, that's what that reference I'm, is. I, Which one? It kills me. For, might have been four years ago. It might have been four years ago. And it was like there's this game. He's tuning. There's this game, uh huh, and it's a Jackbox game, and uh -huh. it's like Jackbox. You do like a uh, uh, um, what do you call it? Like a like a presentation. Oh yeah, okay. you, PowerPoint. Yeah, you make like a PowerPoint presentation, and you get to make up whatever you want, and you write it on your phone, and then when it's your turn, you like present it. Yeah, and it goes up on the screen, like all the things that you wrote, and Malcolm did one on something called the Covington Accord <laughs> and he had like five like slides to like explain it and it never <laughs> made sense there was zero sense it just wasn't anything I hope this explanation really <laughs> gives you a sense of this thing that happened four years but ago it was, I do kind of get it now. it was so fucking bonkers I just couldn't my brain couldn't compute the Covington Accord okay it's something I created. He just It sounds beautiful. And it doesn't have an it doesn't it's nothing. It's, 
It's like something. It's nothing, and it's very <laughs> it's funny. It's the dynamic banter of, <laughs> it's of it all. <laughs> good. Uh, good. So anyway, before the show, mm-hmm. we were talking about a psychological disorder where you visualized someone oh, as something just, else, and your brain was like, dick, 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 dick. What happened? My breath is horrible. I've been drinking. Have some more orange properly. juice. Please. Even flow. <laughs> uh, so anyway, <laughs> there's this book called The Man Who Mistook His Wife for a Hat. Oh. That's not. And it's from 1985, and it's by a neurologist, Oliver Sacks. It's fictional. No. It's not a real Describing story. the case histories of some of his paci- patients. <laughs> well, interesting way to pronounce that. Sachs chose the title of the book from the case study of one of his patients who has visual agnosia or agnosia, a neurological condition that leaves him unable to recognize faces and objects. The book became the basis of an opera of the same name by Michael Nyman, which premiered in 1986. Is this like people who fall in love with their car and like fuck their car? And they eat their car? Uh, he pers- so it says it's, a, it's about this guy. <laughs> Uh, Those are two different conditions. <laughs> I just, I thought we saw the same show. So close. Uh, it's, this person's a singer. Their name is Dr. P. Because I guess maybe it's like anonymity or something. And they're a music teacher who has visual agnosia. He perceives separate features of objects, but cannot correctly identify them or the whole objects that they are part of. At first, he supposes that diabetes has affected his vision. Uh-huh. I don't so know maybe that's something. <laughs> but an ophthalmologist sub- suggests a neurological problem and refers him to Sachs. As he leaves Sachs' examination room during his first visit, he momentarily grabs his wife's head, supposing it to be his hat. Unable to treat Dr. P's problems, Sachs encourages him to focus on his musical interests, which remain intact. Hey, I don't think music helps that ailment. Yeah, maybe no. not. He thought his wife was a hat. He thought the wife was a hat? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I don't believe so this story at all. Was a wife. Did he fuck his hat? I thought the wife thought she was a hat. That's what I thought. The That's man what I was hoping. who mistook his wife for a hat. I got to admit. So crazy. as he was leaving the room, he went to <laughs> grab his hat and instead grabbed his wife's face. Did he bring right? a hat, though? Yeah, he brought a hat. You think he just grabbed a random hat? What is he crazy? He grabbed a random face. <laughs> Wait, did he bring I've a never, hat? And I've never way heard out? a whole story and understood <laughs> yeah. it last. <laughs> not the I know so much. Le- was that the musical? <laughs> you said there was a musical, an opera based on this, and there was a cat. Yeah, involved? but I'm just saying more about the story. The musical part was just kind of like, and there's a musical about it. Oh, I want to see the musical. Yeah, that would be kind of cool because he's visually. Looking at things. I'm in but love there are other with things. a hat. There's a whole music. This hat is a woman. The woman that I love. Oh, shit. They got three acts out of that, you think? <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Who's this? Yeah, Hello? 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 Whoa. Who's this? Whoa. Hi, this is Felicia. It's Felicia. Whoa, Whoa Felicia. Friend of ours and friend of the show. I don't know if you've met Malcolm. Malcolm's in the studio. Hi, Malcolm. Hey, Felicia. I don't think we have met. Hey, Felicia Shambari. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you remembered. Of course I remember. <laughs> wow, thank you so much. Happy. 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 So Felicia is a part of our VR group. We watch movies in virtual reality. Oh. And we play Fortnite. Yeah. And uh, who's the guy from Fleetwood Mac? (laughs) (laughs) Who's that guy? He's 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 the guy. Fleetwood. William Fleetwood. Oh no, you're thinking of Mac actually. Oh, that's Norwood Mac. No, no, yeah, no. He's as in oh Lindsay, Lindsay Buckingham. Yeah, Lindsay Buckingham. Is that who Lindsay Buckingham is? Yeah, the guy from Fleetwood. Mac. I feel like I've heard that name and I had no idea what. I thought it was a, a prince. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Lindsay's <laughs> Buckingham <laughs> Palace. I thought that's who the palace was named. Yeah, after. it is Lindsay Buckingham from Fleetwood Mac. Anyway, anyway Felicia. Felicia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you? 400th episode of DB. 400th episode. Congratulations. <laughs> it's a weird milestone, but it yeah. it is one. Yep. Did you we get did us it. anything? Um. 
Well, me calling you is kind of my gift to you. Whoa. Oh. Would you yeah. have done this if I wouldn't have texted you, though? Um, let's not worry okay. about that. Do you ever hear about the man who mistook his wife for a hat? Yes. <laughs> she thought she was a hat, I thought. She thought she was no, her a hat. Hu- her husband thought she was a hat. Can you, Did you, real quick, can you guys just summarize everything you've talked about in the episode oh, so no. far? Oh, no. Ma- I don't it. remember a lot of it. Uh, oh, Malcolm's got it. <laughs> well, we were celebrating the 400th episode. I'm in a play. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a woman with a hat. Uh, we don't need to do ads. Uh, we got calls oh. from Ryan Faroki yeah. and Whitney Moore yeah. thinks she looks older than she is. One more. And then, uh, <laughs> there was one more call in. Uh, oh, some guy, about Harley from Mealtime. Oh, yeah. Mealtime. From <laughs> Harley from Mealtime. All the, all the hits. All yeah. the hits. And then yeah. there's a guitar, someone practicing guitar. Yeah. There's Someone's going to be the musical guest in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I wonder who. We don't know. Same. We... That's what we got, Felicia. Okay, thank you for the summary. Felicia, have you um, ever mistaken anyone for a haberdashery? Yes. Yes. All right. That's thank simple. you. Thank you for that. <laughs> thank you for your bravery. <laughs> Felicia, any memories uh, from the show you'd like to share Did with the audience? Like, from the beginning? You've been, have you been listening from the beginning, Felicia? Yes. Can we get somebody I, on I mean, who's I been don't... listening since the beginning? Uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't remember. I know... I was listening to Cloverfield. Oh. Um, I tend I tend to follow Mike's project because I'm a supportive friend. Thank you, Felicia. And, oh, uh, you're so welcome. Um, but yeah, I love all you guys, even Kevin. But fuck Kevin, am I right? Also, like, fuck Kevin. Yeah, I'd say that. Fuck as well. you, Kevin. Oh. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. Very specific relationship. Anyway, Felicia, thank you so much for um, your friendship and your listenership and uh, and always being nice to us and providing us with good feedback like <laughs> Fire Kevin. Bit of a ping. Oh, I didn't say Fire Kevin. I just said Fuck Kevin. No, I remember I you said that once. Fuck, Mary, Fire Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, Mary, kill, but it's all Kevin. <laughs> and he definitely loses well, his thank job. thank you guys for... Um, <laughs> Thanks for forever breaking the way I speak. Thanks for all the new stims. For sure. And uh, uh, yeah. oh, here's to 400 stims. more if you're still alive. Aww. Thank you. There's no, nice. way. There's no way. Who do you think will die first? Well, you have to I say. Think we all know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Felicia. Thank you for Thank calling. You, Thanks, guys. Happy 400. Thank you, Felicia. We love you. Bye-bye. I love you. Bye-bye. You know, we've been working so hard to get to this point for so long. And 400 was such an important number to us. And I'm, I'm just so glad we finally did it. How long ago did you guys start the show? Like when? What, 400 you, what, episodes what ago. Day, okay. Well, <laughs> what day? <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> what, what day was your first episode? Like what day year? You can look this up. Kevin. Was it night? Was it? Kevin will look this 2000, up. 2000. <laughs> Oh. Well, we're old men now, you see. 2000. And yes. we were once spry boys. Like what month it was or something? What month year? And year? Month and year. Uh, it was fuck. definitely well, like Mar- May or March. But are we talking about Cloverfields no, or D- Dynamic Man? No, D-B. DB. DB. I don't know you think March? Because it's eight is. years ago in May or March. Eight I just years ago. Which one. We're saying it's, uh, what I year is this? Answer. Who could do the math? 2016. Don't make me guess if you have a calculator. It's me. Kevin March 2016. Answer. You're close though, Mike. You're very close. 2016? Is it 2016? I mean, if we're months? doing eight years. March? March. I'm going to say March 2016. May. May. God damn it. May God damn my dyslexic mind. <laughs> God damn it. I see M's. I think they're all the same month. Mike, you did great. <laughs> you got good. real close. That was in yeah. two months. <laughs> I don't think I would have been. two months. I would have said 2015. God damn it. I would have said June 2015. <laughs> Yeah. You're like, right after 9-11. That's also a good guess. Can we double check? <laughs> yeah, did you? Devin was wrong. Can we double check the facts? Oh, I was right. <laughs> you know people like that? You go, ah, yeah, I was right. I was right. <laughs> I do. So it took you eight years to do 400 shows. Yeah. I don't think you've missed one. We haven't missed a week. Yeah. So I was it's thinking been about, every week yeah. Because for... there's other podcasts that I've been on for longer, but they have... We're closer to them in episodes, and it's because we took like months off with some of the other. Hey, episodes. what a cool 
coffee tattoo on your middle finger. Thanks, bud. Somebody in Austin asked me if I hate baristas, and that's why I got this coffee oh, tattoo. Interesting. On my and I said, <laughs> no. And then I walked away. I don't think you what would was hate the actual reason. Enough. What's the actual reason? I just like where it's at. I just like it. Isn't that I, your tattoo guys are, There's stuff I like. I'm tattoo like, guys are so interesting because you're just like, yeah, here's a funnel. It started with my, everything. On, yeah, you're right. Everything on the web has of my fingers. Every, yeah, <laughs> that is kind of, the more tattoos somebody has, the more likely they are to have st stuff for stuff's sake. Yeah, yeah. Everything has a little bit of a story behind it, but some things the short the stories are just tiny. What's the whole story of this? Coffee I like though? coffee. That's the whole story, and that's the hand I drink it with. Jesus Christ. I Some mean, of them once, have longer stuff. <laughs> have like, once you have five or six tattoos, everything is like out the window. My favorite tattoo of yours <laughs> that I hate, <laughs> that I'm with your papa about. Your is, dad hates is, it? Is bits. Oh, yeah. My dad didn't understand. <laughs> he was like, what is that? <laughs> That's my favorite. And I'm like, well, it's like jokes. Cause, but they keep going. As a dad, I would hate you the minute you explain that yeah. to me. Like if I didn't know what bits were, and you're yeah. like, it's like jokes, you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I know, but you know, parents aren't really meant to understand their children. Parents aren't like meant the great to... philosopher Willard Smith said. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Willard Cosby. <laughs> uh, parents aren't bred to. Enjoy watching their babies get tattooed. I think. No. Right, right. I think I they hate that part of it. I don't it. think any parent, unless they're a tattoo parent, is like, yeah, yay. Well, it's funny because like when I got my first tattoo, my mom was like, ugh, okay. Me <laughs> home. <laughs> she was not into it. Yeah. And then I was like, um, my mom. She always used to say to my brother and I because of the Bill and Ted movie to always be excellent to each other. Yeah. And I told my mom that I was going to get a BX, always be excellent to each other tattoo. And then she was into it. Yeah. Really? Oh, my God. That's kind of yeah. cute, Mio. You have to show them you have some thought. Yeah. Yeah, it. exactly. You scar well, your she body just, forever. She, she was okay with it because it was her bit. Right. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. It was her bit. Yeah. It, exactly. Exactly. She's like, bits, Mio. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's beautiful. Anyway, no tattoos ever, Malcolm? Ever in your whole life? No, the closest is I was going to come to a tattoo is uh, my best friend growing up, Nick Rowe, who's a Marine now. He was going into the Marines, and he was going to get like a bulldog tattoo because that's like the thing for Marines. And so he wanted me to do it, and I would have done it, but he was like at the tattoo shop when he called me. Whoa. And I was at my home. Oh, shit. So I was like, sure. nah, I'm not leaving. You're yeah. comfortable. I was 17. I don't feel like going nowhere. Yeah, Damn, yeah, yeah. so that would have been your one and only that tattoo. That would have been my one and only tattoo that I, would, I definitely would have gotten if I was just around. Do you think anything in the future? No, could... I don't see me getting a tattoo. Wow. Everyone who has none is like, I would get one and that's it. And then you get the one and then. You're it. I feel like people who get tattoos, they're always talking about you You want more once mm -hmm. you get the yeah. one. I, yeah. I've, I've never, I'm not consistent enough with anything in my life. To get a tattoo, it probably sure. it would have to be acting related, or something black. Maybe a microphone sure. somewhere, or maybe right a collared green, <laughs> <laughs> a microphone with a collared green around it. Hell yeah! You know what I mean? That's musical. And something MC black. Greens, <laughs> you know, something like that. Beautiful, and that's you art. know, it didn't help that we have a tattoo artist. Well, we have tattoo artist friends. Yeah. Who are like yeah, you can't oh, make it easy. Yeah, because like, do you have tattoo? You have any friends who are tattoo artists? Uh, I don't know. I don't see color. See, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> once you have like a close friend who does tattoos, they're always like, "You want a tattoo?" I'm, I'm sure they'd be like, "Yeah, get." And you're like, you "Well, fuck it, we're just hanging out." Like, yeah, let's get tattoos. I don't have tattoo friends. I have friends. I have friends with tattoos, but I don't yeah. have anybody who's who's an inker. Um, we have a special history road Whoa. from Nick Hamilton, who big timed us today. He did big time Ski. us. What? Ski. That's how you big time someone. <laughs> you ask someone to to be around, and they go on a skiing trip instead. That's, He's in a ski that's Hollywood. Trip. Shit. That just means I gotta, doing cocaine. I gotta go ski. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even he just didn't want to do this. That's yeah. why he planned He's a ski doing trip. cocaine with Florence Pugh. <laughs> Pugh? Yeah. No, yeah. I think it's pew. No, I think it's pew. No, I think it's pew. <laughs> it freaked me too. out, man. <laughs> what happened? It just freaked me out. What was it? What do you mean? It just freaked me out. Man. 
It's just skiing. It didn't sound like me, but it sounded like me. <laughs> we have a special history row. Special history row. says open this if you're gay okay oh, oops i opened it <laughs> <laughs> that's all it says that's kind of fun that's fucked up that's like when you send anthrax to someone or it's you like send that. somebody a picture it is like that it's just the <laughs> that guy oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. nicholas Hamilton says gentlemen what he's I'm currently stuck Stuck upside down on a roller coaster. I'm naked. I'm naked and nude from the waist down. My bare eight inch penis is is swaying in the wind. Oh, okay. So I'll make this quick. Oh, good. If Kevin's competency levels are as high as I am in the air right now because of the roller coaster thing, You'll be reading this on your 400th episode. Episode. What can I say? Really rounded the corner on that one. (laughs) I wasn't expecting it to end. (laughs) I want to congratulate you both on this achievement. Are you still reading something? (laughs) Are you fucking kidding me? Mike is my best friend, (laughs) and I am his. We don't fact check these, I guess. He has said it before. He says it a lot, it says. (laughs) Anyway, happy 400th birthday. You don't look a day over 99999. I love you more than my boyfriend, and he lets me suck him. Why she loves him? He. It's a he. They're both he's. Is that why he loves him? <laughs> because he lets him suck him. I feel like you can get that in a lot of places. <laughs> Time to get off this roller coaster and put my pants back on. Was this the same person? Thank same you. Guy. Love you. Mike's best friend, Nicholas Hamilton. Hamilton. Did I meet you know Nicholas Nick? Hamilton? Yeah. From It. He's the bully. That's Nick, from it. right? Yeah. I love that guy. He's a good, good one. I like that guy. Maybe you could be his best friend. That guy likes penis. Yeah. He loves it. He's good at it. Oh, man. I wouldn't have. Well, yeah, I would have. I think a lot of people don't want him to be because they have little crushes on him. I, I can imagine that. People <laughs> he seems like a heartthrob. <laughs> yeah. He has heartthrob face. He's got heartthrob face. He yeah. does have heartthrob face. Last uh, thing heartthrob face. I, uh, I, you ever seen that movie, The Man Who Fell to Earth, that Bowie movie? No, he thought he was a hat. The one where he thought he was a hat, but instead he was, but it turns out he's David Bowie. <laughs> he's a hat. He has a dream that he's David Bowie. It's, it, it, anyway, it's like, it's like Ziggy Stardust transitioning into Bowie Bowie. And it's a movie about Bowie playing this alien that comes to earth to like help his dying planet. But instead, he gets like distracted and becomes like a rock star. He gets caught up in the rock life. Yeah, he becomes like a huge rock star, and it keeps cutting back to his family like starving to death <laughs> on this planet. And they're like weird aliens, and they're in bags, and they're like, oh. And the little babies are like, oh. Is this a real movie? Anyway, yeah, it's called The Man Who Fell to Earth. And Nick was in that. And yeah. but Bowie looked like Bowie, young Bowie. Ziggy Stardust looks uh-huh. like Nick. Looks like Nick. I believe uh, it. I believe it. And I'm like, dude, get your tell your agent or to management you to, to get you into some young Bowie thing. Yeah, because young Bowie. you can, you would kill it as a young <laughs> Bowie. Sheldon, but it's Bowie. Get a young, <laughs> young Bowie. Get a young Bowie. Bazinga! Oh, no. <laughs> well, I've got myself into a pickle this time. <laughs> I enjoy rocks. Really, glaciers? No, rock music. <laughs> Young Bowie. Uh, young Bowie. And he just floats into the room like he never walks. Young Bowie. <laughs> every time he every time he walks in, he floats. Yeah. Young, young Bowie. Young Bowie. Young Bowie. <laughs> I thought about bathing today, but then I thought, why? Young, young Bowie. <laughs> oh shit! Damn. What? 
Is that Hollywood Whoa, calling? Well, this is a stranger. What? I know no caller ID. You do? <laughs> He's a buddy of mine. He calls That's all the time. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Is this uh, Steve Zaragoza? Yeah, this is Steve Zaragoza. Who's this? This is Sally. Oh, it's Sally. We once had Sally on the show before. Oh, good accent. Yeah. Work. I... <laughs> Sounds like Sally's trying to decide between two acts. <laughs> Sally, are you trying to are, What's the accent we're hearing? Oh, uh, sorry. I just came back from Australia. Oh, <laughs> oh she's think... in Australia. I think I think she's Southern, but she just went on a trip to Australia. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. E yeah, I'm Southern. <laughs> I got the giggles. Oh, you got the giggles. So she's Southern, Malcolm. What? Yeah, I'm Southern. I've always been Southern. Oh, Where from the South are you? Um, I'm from like uh, Kissimmee, but I go back and forth from Pensacola and Kissimmee. So is that, you know that Southern is? Florida? Uh, actually, it's Northern Florida, but it's Southern. You call it I the Northern Florida is the South. South of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> What's the South of Florida? Northern, Northern Florida? Florida. I think. Well, what? I should. What's I, your zip code? We'll remember. work backwards. Well, yeah. Let's start with your. Zip code. <laughs> I forgot. What's your social security number? <laughs> yeah, you, oh. you've got a southern social security number. What, so I remember. Who's that? What was the? Oh, oh that's Malcolm Barrett. I'm Malcolm Barrett. This might not go good. She's southern. Who are you? <laughs> Malcolm, she wants to know who you are. I'm from TV. Oh, uh, and what? New, and New York. Sometimes. Yeah, he's a big television star. Oh, I He's a celebrity. A, yeah. a celebrity. A celebrity. That's um, right. You're speaking to a celebrity. I'm huge. Oh, hello, sir. Thank you. I'm, I'm, Hi, sir. I'm huge at my church. Uh, it's uh, nice to meet you. Oh, well, you can introduce yourself, please, to Malcolm. Uh, I'm sorry. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, uh, talk, uh, introduce happened? yourself. I think she's absolutely smitten. Wait, do you not meet people? No. Uh, the only people I talk to are my chickens. Oh, oh, you're the chickens of the people you talk what, to. What accent do your chickens have? <laughs> what I might be picking up on that. Huh. I remember the last time we spoke with you, you had a little bit of a cold. Are you better now? Uh, <laughs> you, I'm not like, up, but yes, I am. You are. You had like emphysema? I did. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, uh, I forgot. And a rash. You said big old rash. You said you I had, had a big, big rash. rash on my tushy. Your tushy? <laughs> Why do you think that is? I don't know. I th My doctor says, well, I do talk to my doctor. He's a handsome fellow. Sure. Oh, and I do sit on my tushy a lot. Yeah. Um, mm. But I got rid of cable. Maybe that's why I don't know. Yeah, that might be it. Oh, got rid oh. of cable. That's nice. We so might be able to hook you up with a, a bidet. Yeah. Yeah. A bidet? Mm hmm What's that? Do you have running water where you're at? Sometimes. Okay. Well, you could hook that up to a bidet. And it shoots water in your ass, well, and you won't get a. It cleans rash. you up. What? You save money on Excuse toilet paper. Excuse me. In my what? Your oh, you're at Tushy. Oh, what? How was Australia? <laughs> Australia. Oh yeah. So I did that about five years ago, but I still get an accent from time to time. Yeah. Sure. And how was it? Yeah. You know what else she had? What? Heirloom what? Scissors, remember? Oh, you have. Oh, All that's right. right. You have scissors. Yeah. Yeah. In your family, that you're that are going to be passed down right. to generations. And you found that out through twenty three and me. <sighs> They're heirloom scissors. Yeah. How are the heirloom but scissors? I still have them. I still display them. Good. But um, I said I was going to stop doing that because I don't have any children of my own. Oh, that's and a shame. What? Yeah, it is. That's why I, 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 my doctor said I should freeze my eggs, but I don't know how to do that. You have a freezer? I've been taking the eggs from my chicken coop and putting them in the freezer. I don't know what that's what he meant. I don't know if that's what he meant. I think that's what he meant. I don't know. I also think he should probably help you out with the freezer. Yeah. yeah. He didn't have answers about that? Yeah, he's the doctor. No. No. I, I, I think... I, I think uh, no, I yeah, didn't. Yeah, yeah. No, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. That's fair. She fell asleep. <laughs> you okay? She's asleep? She might be sleeping. 
All right. Well, I. <laughs> All right. Well, that's okay. That's good. She also might have to get that narcolepsy checked. Out. I also think she should have went to a real doctor instead of Doctor Dre. Yeah. <laughs> it does seem like she has an open dialogue with the doctor, yeah, she's which just... is always good. All I right, guess. what's the deal, Kevin? More history roads? Yeah, we're in the history roads now. There's right, no there's turning back. Theme. Somebody sent in a new theme. There's a new theme. No, no, no. That's about imprint. Is Kevin part of the show now? Do you guys really involve yeah, him Kevin's now, part. or do you guys uh, edit him out? No, Kevin's. No, a, we have to CGI him. It's hard out. to edit around it. Is it? Right here. Yeah, we don't do it so it this looks one, good. Ty but we Perry. do it so he's out. <laughs> Guys, so yeah, we have a we have a new history road theme. Whoa, what the fuck? Is it fuck? me farting? Because <laughs> well, that was an SPD. <laughs> <audible>? yeah, so... <laughs> it's gonna get bad in here fast. So Ty Perry, you have something to light on fire. Uh, Ty Perry says old time. Tyler Perry, sent Tyler your theme. Perry, he's a big fan. He sends in send in some old timey history road themes. Okay. <laughs> hey Mike and Steve, it's Tyler Perry from North Carolina. Oh, nice. That's Whoa. the same place that a uh, homegirl was from. A lot of southern people on the show today. Her accent was sparse. <laughs> we need to get those southern numbers up. Yeah. Yeah. So tickets. we can come tour. We'll do our southern tour in the panhandle of Florida. Was she also from Australia? Was she indicating that she had an Australian accent? <laughs> she said she had been there for enough <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, Mike and Steve. It's Tyler Perry. I loved hearing the new History Road themes coming in and thought I'd take a crack at it myself. Whoa. I hope you enjoy the little twist I added. Peace and love. Thank you. P.S. To save a bit of time, the songs are identical for the first 30 seconds, but each track has a different ending. Whoa, there's a lot of different ones. Ooh, choose your own That's ending. fun because then we could just pick a random What's one. Did you listen to these guys? Let's I am not. All right, this one's called History Road 1. Let's listen to that one. How long is the song? Eight minutes. It's my neighbor. <laughs> Darling, I suppose You and me could take the viewing down History Road Oh, okay. Sounds like two different keyboards doing the demo next to each other. I'm dancing in the ground. <laughs> I'm dancing in the ground. He says I'm dead in the ground. Oh, I like I'm it. Dead and I'm in the dead ground. and in the ground. Oh, okay. I like Not it. Bad. Let's hear the second one. Bounce. <laughs> we do this for an hour. This is really bonkers. It's like a They Might Be Giants song. You and me could take a few and down history road. I like this one better. <laughs> What's <laughs> different so far? Love it. It does feel cleaner. I can, I can hear it. It's the Game Boy version. Which? I tuck my shirt in for fun. Oh, I, I tuck my shirt in for fun, he said? Oh. I, it's, uh, it, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like when you would pull the string on those toys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is like an old haunted doll singing our theme. <laughs> getting sung to by Annabelle. Like. You know those dolls, though. That's I do. A, you know what I'm talking about. I, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You need to do a not the mama. Thing. Not the mama. Remember okay. that one? I do. Dinosaurs. Thank you very much, Tyler Perry. <laughs> <laughs> it is like Tyler Perry to fucking cheap out and just give you the same song. You did it. You did it. Oh, we got a couple of happy 400 yeah, episode hey. mails. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Taylor says happy 400 episodes. Well, that's, that's, nice. That's, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. How many times do you think I've worn this sweatshirt to your show? Multiple? I've worn it. I feel like I wear it you every have? time. Nice. Almost every time. That's he nice. bought me this shirt. I did. And it doesn't, it's not, I mer- worn it? it's not official I merch. I've seen you in this. Should no? be. What's stopping you from just ripping off that design and selling it to people? <laughs> Work ethic. Hell yeah. Guys, Nick Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Taylor 
other says, hi, Mike and Steve. How come no one says hi to me? They didn't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Happy 400 episodes. Yeah. Yeah. And... 400 honey honks to you boys Whoa. Uh, for doing it. Honey honks. In celebration of this occasion, we would like to present you a dynamic banter DB salute. A bunch of us on the DB Discord were wanting to celebrate with you, and the best way we could was by saluting to you guys for your funnies and goofs Everyone is saluting you in a way they think dynamic banter would salute all. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and we can't contain our excitement. <laughs> Something can be contained. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> <laughs> For those that can't see, I was mid yawn <laughs> trying to be excited. <laughs> dude, dude, from here up, I looked like I was into it. Oh, I'm dying. So, this is 400. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of uh, the kids on the DB soundboard, uh, Discord. Discord. <laughs> There's a dynamic banter discord. They oh, yeah. made a salute. Here's a Dropbox folder of everyone that wished to join in on it. So here's to you guys. Here's to 400 more. I know you guys make me smile as much as you make everyone else. And thank you from the entire dynamic banter community. Thank you guys. P.S. If Goofy is there, get him out. Okay. He got backyard chickens to take care of. The crazy lady has been moving their recycling around. The summer <laughs> boys are on tour again. And we all can't miss that because goblin mode is opening with too much water in my mouth. <laughs> and Derek just won't stop shouting to get out of the void. Out of the void. I didn't understand that sentence at all. There's a lot. Ah! <laughs> get it. Get it. Get it. Making sure it's. <laughs> get it. See, get it. Get it. Leave my titty alone. <laughs> Great. The 400th this episode. This is total 400 behavior. Yeah. <laughs> it is, absolutely. All right, let's see what this this dynamic banter salute is. It's just the middle finger. The <laughs> I got your gobble. dynamic banter. Oh, wow. Time. It's literally just like a bunch of pictures of everyone saluting. <laughs> it's great. literally that. That's great. It's literally that. I wish I could share this with everybody. D but... Can you describe all the pictures? Yeah, someone is saluting. <laughs> and there's yeah, another person salute. saluting. Yeah, but he's yeah. making like a face. Yeah, they're all making face. What this? This is like a okay face. <laughs> this person saluting with a horn. With he's a got a horn. horn. He's got a little he's horn. horn. And a Cloverfields shirt. What is Cloverfield? Nice. That Cloverfields was our podcast about Cloverfield before Dynamic Banter. Yeah. The Bond. movie Cloverfield. Yeah. yeah, we had a podcast <laughs> dedicated to it. <laughs> <laughs> Surprised that's not still around. How many episodes was it? A lot. It was a lot. More than you would think. It was a lot because we ended up bantering and uh, beyond the movie. And then people were like, we had to apologize because there's more banter than <laughs> to Cloverfield. talk about Cloverfield. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. people really wanted the Cloverfield stuff. Initially, yeah, but it turns yeah. out you you really hit a wall after a while <laughs> <laughs> with information. Well, you know, Dan Trachtenberg like, was a guest, basically. <laughs> And yeah. we got to do a screening of 10 Cloverfield Lane with Paramount. And we got fans to come out and, like, watch it with us. How many episodes was this? It was up to, like, 400. 50, 60, something like that. 50 episodes on Cloverfield? You well, should listen to it from the beginning. You don't even know, <laughs> dude. The Cloverfield universe. I love Cloverfield. Cloverfield universe is Wait, expansive. was it on the Cloverfield universe or the first movie, the Cloverfield? Universe. Oh, yeah. you yeah. can do the Cloverfield universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. And that's why we're friends at the end of the day. <laughs> In all honesty. This next picture. And that's what ties us all together. What? In the universe. <laughs> the next picture is someone saluting. Two hands. Someone's doing a double salute and he's wearing glasses. We got a salute with their face like this. We got uh -huh. a hand and face salute. Lots of fun salutes. That guy looks like uh, Narcos. Let's cut this into the show. That's what Malcolm. can we make out of this? That's Malcolm? No, yeah. it's not. Who? What'd you say? It's Palka. 
Palka. Palka. You know Palka. Matt Palka. Very could sweet. Could boy. have been a different Malcolm. Someone's wearing a furry costume. Hell yeah. yeah. Just like the people Ooh, that this guy, that guy, that guy has got his eye, his Hitler fingers, youth energy. A little bit, you're right. But he's got his finger in his eye, so that's all right. Fun. So he gets it. That's our audience. They're just a little bit off. <laughs> <laughs> we've got another salute. Of, uh, we've got a, so many salutes. Very well lit salute. Here we go. Yeah, this guy right. has a cat. He's got a cat. The in cat this thing. is leaving the frame. Here's the thing: the Discord. <laughs> when they hear this, when they hear the podcast, they'll know who we're talking about. Right. Yeah. People in this Discord. Right. Someone professional, oh, more. Professional. Hey, this guy looks like Mr. Beast. Someone Wait, more right. professional than us will cut the pictures into the video. Yeah, this guy. This guy's got it. Yeah. It doesn't That's look like nice. Mr. Beast. You're right. There's a backyard chickens. But- this guy's wearing a dynamic banter. Yeah. Dude, we should take a moment to personally thank all the thousands of people who listen to this show. Okay. Yeah. So let's start, listening. With, let's start with Brad. Brad. Brad, thank you for listening. Thank you, Brad. Uh, Jesse. Jesse, thank you, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you for listening to this. Yeah. Uh, we want to date uh, Errol. Errol. Errol always listens. Thank Errol you. always frequent, is a big listener. listener. Errol's great. Uh, Darlene. Darlene. Darlene, one of my favorites. And that's just the first five. The this first is like five the, darling. Like using the list of dead people to vote to get votes. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Romper Room. Jack, yeah. would you say what was the name before the Errol? Errol, Errol. yeah. Errol is such Errol a dead always. guy name. <laughs> <laughs> he just voted. There's no more alive no, Errol. No. How could he be dead? He just voted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But thank you for uh, for listening to 400 episodes. Thank That's you guys. Fucking awesome. Love you. Is thank the you show over? That. Yes. Probably. Oh, man. What time? We zipped through. Oh, it's still more time. What time is that? Okay. There's, There's a lot of time left? Do we? Are oh, we? Okay. We're good, right? We can end the show? Oh, oh no. Do we, oh, we, we have more time? We got a vamp a little bit. Yeah. We got a vamp? You, it has to be 400. Oh, 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 oh that's right. Oh, oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh, <laughs> 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 Not you, Mayor. Hello? Whoa. Hello? It's Owen. Hey. Owen. What the fuck? Hey. Owen. <laughs> Is that the one whose leg is always broke? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys had a broken leg like, for eight years, like a cartoon character. Oh, and how's your leg? <laughs> Perfect. Real, real good. It's That's good. great, dude. It sounds like you're back at 100%. <laughs> okay, he also had surgery on his ears, maybe? Oh, and how are you, buddy? Good. What are you guys doing? We're just having our 400th episode of DB. No big DB deal. Hope you don't mind. Whoa. Whoa. We did it. And we've had so many special guests and so many fun phone calls and stuff. It's so it's great to get a call from you, buddy, on the show on the 400th episode. Oh, it's nice. Owen, what was your favorite dynamic banter memory of all time? Oh, no. I didn't think of one. Oh, you should just have it. It's your favorite of all time. Yeah. Uh, just tell us your favorite uh, one. Yeah. The commentarium with John Goodman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was very, very good. That was on 10 Cloverfield Lane. That yeah. was a 10 Cloverfield And we did a commentarium where my friend. No, we had John Goodman. My friend John Goodman okay. came to do it. <laughs> <laughs> To do commentary. Came to do commentary on 10 Cloverfield Lane with us. Ah, he did cool. a great, such a great job. Yeah. What about your second favorite? Yeah, what's your second favorite? Uh, Memory. Of the show. Uh, He's in a meadow. Okay. Who, who's your favorite? Oh, and did you hear the question? Who's your, fa- <laughs> your, fa- who's your favorite black guest? <laughs> Will Haynes. You have to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's been good talking Malcolm. to you. It's gotta be Malcolm. Malcolm is the best. Hey! Yay! Yay! That's the only award ever given out on this show. <laughs> only Owen can give out an award. I freaking win, man. <laughs> Woo! Owen, do you remember? Can you think back to the kicking legs on the couch days? Because Owen used uh-huh. uh, Mike and I used to record the show, you remember, with the olives, the, the olives the, yeah, sorry, no, the the apartment. in my apartment over in that little nook there, and yes. Owen would lay down on the couch. I know, I remember. he would listen to us do the show. Do you remember any particular memories from those days that are kind of fun? 
We missed, actually, we were like, remember when Owen used to play the History Road music? He used to like play on live. Piano. Or real piano. Yeah. yeah, we were like, maybe we should get you in on the 400th episode to come play the piano, but we already had music play. Yeah. Unless you were upstairs practicing guitar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Owen, don't be afraid to let dead air hang. Uh, <laughs> the key to yeah, it's not radio. <laughs> <laughs> Owen, thank you for your years of contributions to the show, <laughs> and thank you for uh, for continuing to contribute to the show. And I love you very much. Oh, I love you guys. Aww. You're the best. You're the funniest. Uh, I'm very proud of you. Oh, thanks, bud. Aww. For what? Some people are jealous that we're friends. Oh, <laughs> see, I he told you. Use, he I, uses that to get discounts at Subway. That's fun. <laughs> do, you, do you know anyone that hates Steve and Mike? <laughs> not, not both equally. Oh, all right. that's good. But one more than the other. Yeah, it's usually a one or the other situation. That's fine. That's fine. People have different personalities. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Are you guys having fun? What do you do? What do we do for the special day? <laughs> it's great, man. We're actually <laughs> we had some good guests. We have uh... <laughs> we had some music, and uh... <laughs> it's been a real bonkers show, to say the least. Oh, shocking! It is shocking. Yeah. Hey, Owen, what are you doing right now? Uh, smoke break. Smoke oh. break. Smoke break. Where, where, smoke where do you work? At home. At home. He works from home. Yeah, <laughs> I could have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm guessed are it. You, are you on a couch professionally now? No. The casting couch. <laughs> oh, it's been great Owen, talking to you. Oh, edits for casting. <laughs> <laughs> Owen builds casting couches. <laughs> Owen owns a casting couch cleaning company. No one thinks about it. No one, no one's looking at the couch and the thing going. Somebody had to build. That's true, that. but they will now, bud. Nice work, Owen. Well, we love you, buddy, and we thank you for being a, a who you are. I appreciate the relationship that we have as it is. I think it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Owen. Well, thanks for calling, buddy. Love you, boys. Oh. Bye, Owen. <laughs> My favorite wow. part is when you all, almost hung up like five minutes. Ago. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, how are you guys doing? Like, oh. <laughs> oh, we're too late. We're Damn it. Too late. Now we're in too deep. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, what the mother the fuck? calls aren't stopping. Oh, shit. They're coming from outside the house. Uh, is it this Owen? Is it, this is great. Hello? It's Chris McCaleb. Whoa. Hey. What? What's, what's going on? Oh, my hey. God. Chris. Chris, we just had Owen on. Oh, Owen, Owen Carter. Yeah, yes. Owen Rogers. Oh, oh, I used to listen to I used to listen to him on the. He used to do a, a show about your podcast. He oh. did used to do a show about our podcast. That's true. Are we yeah. talking about Chris McCaleb, American film editor and director? That's yes, right, yes, dude. dude. That's correct. Chris, can you talk about what you're working on right now? Or we can tell you what you yeah. have worked on in the past. We can. He worked on Better Call Saul. He worked on. I have. Uh, Better Call the Sopranos. Echo, 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 the new show Echo. Sorority. I did. Forever. I worked. So I worked. Yes, that's right. I think what people mostly want to know about is the 2008 the WB.com web series <laughs> Sorority Forever. And you did that Duracell commercial. <laughs> what? Remember Prom Queen? <laughs> Prom queen for sure. Yeah, that was that was uh, that was uh, that was man. That was a long time ago. By the way, that makes Chris, very sad. You're talking to Malcolm Barrett, famous actor. Oh shit! Yeah, we yeah. got yeah. Malcolm. No, the, the, I know him from the podcast Dynamic Banter. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's the very same. That is me <laughs> doing the same thing. No, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Chris. Now, Chris. Yeah. Chris is. You're a professional. We have friends who are professionals. I, so sometimes, although I, as I've told Steve I, a couple times in, on Friday mornings, I, I'm working on a show on the Disney lot right now, Whoa. and uh, and I is I, it I, called like, Farm Boy? <laughs> no, that was Malcolm. <laughs> Come on, man. What do you know about Foreign Body? 
for, hey, foreign body. The, we were we were early on the web series thing. We shot some of that in India. Whoa! We shot it, like in Delhi, India, and it was fucking it was nuts. So that's where the body was from. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, get it? Foreign body? <laughs> oh, very good. Yes. <clears throat> Spoiler alert in the just, title. You guys should yeah. work on that. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Just four white guys telling the story of uh, Indian nurses. And... It's a tale as old as time. <laughs> yeah. yeah and we there's were, not enough we of really that. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris, what are you working on right now? And... I'm work- I can't tell you the name of it, but it's another. I'm working on another Marvel show. Ooh, right? Ooh, and, marbles. Uh, and then, uh, and the, but then I'm going to be working on uh, Vince Gilligan's next show. Whoa, yeah. you're working on Vince's yeah. next show? Is that known? Is that, is that known? known? I mean, yeah, oh, well, yeah. It's, that's a known thing. Yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's for, it? it's for uh, Apple. Oh, is it a Welcome to Man Bottomless? Oh, my God. Welcome to Man Bottomless. <laughs> is that it? That's the name <laughs> of the show? Really By Vince? It. You're going all the way to the bottom of my IMDb. <laughs> 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 Chris, is there a title for the new Vince Gilligan show yet? Not yet. Okay. No. Okay. No. All right. Well, this you is can, exciting. You can uh, you can stay tuned for for that for some at some time. I who knows. Is it called Murmur? That's oh my! That's a student film. That's from college. <laughs> so that's already out. What year are we? What year is that? Vince already worked on that. <laughs> 1999. You said yeah. Rhea Seahorn is in that one. <laughs> Oh, and Vince's in oh, in, in my uh, are we time traveling now? Uh, we are. Wait. Ray Seahorn. Ray Seahorn was in my student film. Yeah, yeah, exactly. My God. We're, we're doing a flashback. She's very cool, by the way. This Ray is Seahorn. your four hundredth episode. <laughs> well, as long as you're as long as we're doing flashbacks, because I, I tell Steve all the time that like I'll be like driving through the security at the Disney lot and you guys are talking about like brewing kiss and coffee pots and <laughs> and, and and or like singing a song called Mother Fuck Me. <laughs> um, Those security but, guards are but, like making a file on you. Yeah, yeah, no, they definitely have a picture of me at the front that they're not supposed to let me through. <laughs> do, anymore, do you so. ever have valet park your car, but it's us singing Mother oh Fuck Me? <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Chris, uh, what's your now, Chris? This is a famous thing that Chris did. Everyone in the world knows this. Knows this. TMZ did a piece on it. But remember when we did our EZU panel at WonderCon, Chris was oh, the yeah. moderator of that. And he came in a suit, did which such I'll a great never job. forget. Such a beautiful job. Oh, that was fun. I was honored that you asked me. And, you know, you dodged, again, you dodged a lot of the hard-hitting questions that I think the fans wanted to know. And... And, uh, you know, this erasure of talk and banter is just, it's just unbelievable. There was an after I continue show. to not know what you mean by that. Apparently there was an Malcolm? after show. Do you want to talk about it, Malcolm? Does Malcolm know about it? You know what? You Owen, can... where's Brett? Where Bro, yeah, where is there Brett? There was, let's address the rumors. A long time ago, there was a Reddit thread that said there should be an after show or something for dynamic banter. Yeah. It never happened. You continue to insist that, that it, it happened, did, yeah. and it's kind of insult. It's flattering, but it's insulting. I think it needs to stop. It needs to stop. Needs you know, t- time will heal the wounds. Time, time. They say time heals wounds, and I still feel I feel time in my heart. Okay. Is that true, Malcolm? Is that how that works? I think so. And and honestly, did you use some of this hurt for Sam has seven friends? I'm so glad you asked that. And, and yes, I did. I like to, I try to channel all of my pain into, into our, that was our, our uh, first web series in 2006. Beautiful. Yes. That's it was crazy. A dramatic web series. Oh, Just so again, cool. four white guys telling the story of uh, women uh, and their friends. Yeah. Tale as old as time. Tale as old as time. And did they, did yeah. they kiss at some point? We, what did you say? Did they kiss ever in the production? The girls? Because every story that I've ever thought of, of multiple girlfriends, they're kissing it. <laughs> there has to be, yeah. I, I want to say in, there had to have been a, yes, there was a girl-on-girl kiss in Good. Yeah, two girl-on-girl kisses in Sorority Forever, not in Sam and Good, so you were light years beyond your time. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's what we all want to see when we go to the internet. But now... We're not, we don't need, you know, dramas. We just have, you know, porn. Right. Uh, so. Chris, I want to thank you for texting Kevin and I like pretty weekly. We like maybe not may Yeah. Like by at least bi-weekly 
commenting on something that made you laugh in an episode of DB. And I, that's really sweet of you. And I really, really enjoy when you do that. Oh, well, I love, I, well, A, I love you. B, I love the show. And I'll tell you today, I think my favorite for today's episode that I haven't even heard yet, but I think my favorite part was the guy who thought his wife was a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, you already listened. That's incredible. Yeah, hey, listen, man, I'm everywhere. <laughs> Chris, if there was ever an after show for this podcast, it would be an honor for you to host it. Uh, that means a lot or to me, at Mike. least be a replacement for someone who didn't want to do it anymore. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think canonically Owen died in 2013. <laughs> allegedly, Wait. according to that alleged podcast. Then who did we just talk <laughs> to? <laughs> exactly. Will, will we get to see some of this insight from um, one of my favorite films of yours, uh, David Callahan writer's reel. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know what's crazy? <laughs> Dave Callahan, that's that is a, we got the 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 action star Al Leong to play my friend Dave, Ali Wong? who's a screenwriter. Oh. Al, no, no. This so is Al, the footage Al you Leong, used in the Bill is, and Ted thing. Yes, yes, I used pieces of my own film because he's in. He plays Genghis Khan in, in Bill and Ted. Ted. Wow. Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. you've you've seen him a lot. He's he incredible. he was awesome. One of the he came out and did this silly little movie and my friend Dave now is like a huge writer. He's one of the writers on the Spider-Verse sequel. Oh and shit. Yeah. Damn, so that reel doing... was important. Yeah, no, it worked out for him. It, it, it's worked out less well for me somehow. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, Mr. But... Marvel Show. Yeah, we get to celebrate it today and that's what Mr. matters. Mr. Two Marvel Shows and a Vince Gilligan. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm editing these shows. He's he's writing. Well, that's movies, true. That's so. true. But you're an important part yeah. of it, Chris, and I enjoy all of your work and I watch it only because you're a part of it and nothing else, no other reason. Like I'm not watching this yeah. Vince Gilligan show excited about what Vince Gilligan's doing. No, we've seen it a thousand no, times. You got it. stranded on the island with your friends. You made a coconut radio. Big deal. Get over it. Yeah, no, Little I couldn't buddy. agree more. I, I won't even watch this show, to be honest. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a new approach to editing. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I go in blind. <laughs> I love it. I, I come out yeah. blind. <laughs> yeah. I do the whole thing. <laughs> well, Chris, thank you so much. You're our last guest on our 400th Woo! episode. Oh, my God. Thank you for all the trivia on all the things that you worked on. Do you have a favorite dynamic banter moment, Chris? Oh, my God. Or a favorite thing you worked on? I, or Vince Gillian's number? <laughs> Can you get Vince on the line? Yeah, let's get Vince on the horn yeah. real quick. Well, you know, we famously think... discuss, and there's a lot of famous stuff we talk about on this show, but we famously discuss how Dan Trachtenberg played Cloverfields in the editing room when they were making 10 Cloverfield Lane. Like, they were in there so long they would listen to the show. Have you what? listened to... Yeah. You didn't know that? I didn't. Well, now you, you know. Mean Dan, Dan Trachtenberg from that, whatever that, that web series he was on? Yeah, that web series. Yeah. Now, what was the hell was that show called? I know. It was, it was like, uh, what was it? Like that totally rad totally show. Totally rad show. Yep. Yeah. Showing my age. Yep. And then he went off to direct 10 Cloverfield Lane and then Prey. That movie Prey. Yeah, no, he's killing it. He's awesome. He's I great. like Dan. Didn't he? he did he have, was he gonna never mind but we'll, we'll i think get he's doing weed. a star war he might be doing a star war oh then i'm out on him <laughs> Screw that no guy. i love i love a star war all right any any uh special moments from db or your favorite moment god that's so that's so difficult i i i oh man mm. that's too hard I, I i will say i think the introduction of the soundboard and the, the music that you guys have done. Yeah. That, that, yeah. And I've texted you, like sometimes you guys just go off on these improv, the impromptu songs that just made me laugh so hard and are so strange. And like you've said, would be impossible to explain to somebody, but, <laughs> but like, if you get it, you get it. And, and I just, uh, yeah, I just, I, it's, it's so fun to, to A, listen to you guys and B, sort of like, you know, keep up with, with you know, your, at least your voice. Yeah, exactly. Your voice. Yeah. Well, Chris, that's And sometimes really you get to talk to film star Malcolm Barrett. Yes. Huge film star. Huge film Huge. star. 
maybe you'll be editing him in a Marvel someday. Huh? It's from your mouth to God's mouth. So, oh. Chris, thank you so much, man. We love you, buddy. We appreciate you. Uh, I love you. Lot. Love you guys. Thank you, Chris. Love, love you, guys. Chris. Happy 400. Ha thank you so much. I want to see you soon, buddy. Yeah, no, I'd love to. All right, Let's get friend. together. Take care, buddy. All right. Bye-bye. Steve, should we? Um, that was a pretty good. Um, that was good. Let's call transition into maybe doing what we've been practicing all week right yeah you want um, to do the, the we start the, the song show, so the like, end of the show song yeah. yeah and malcolm i think if you might you know a little. Probably improv it. uh well no i worked a little bit on the song yeah before. well you came uh, in a little late but yeah. you enhanced it a lot i hope so four, 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 That was a HeadGum Podcast.